Welcome to phase four. If you guys have been seeing this series, you know that we've been working on the kitchen for quite some time now. And today we're going to focus on phase four, which is going to be the pots and pans down in there in the bottom. And hopefully if we have enough time and get through under the sink as well. If this is your first time here and you missed out on the other videos in this kitchen declutter series, make sure to check them out. I'll leave a link up here and down below. As always, we need a clear workspace and I'm going to use the table that you guys are sitting on right now. I'm going to take everything out and put it on this table right here. That way we can see everything all in one spot and then make decisions of what my mom is going to keep and what she wants to let go. Okay, so let's see how this currently looks. So we've got a bunch of pots and pans and bowls and things. So we're going to grab everything and put it on the table. There is so much stuff in here. I didn't realize how deep these were. And there's a ton of stuff in the back too. Lots of pots and pans. So these are pretty deep. You can see that there's more back there. And then there's some bowls here and some lids that we still need to take out. Today we have a special guest. My nephew is helping me out and he wants to be involved whenever I'm doing any decluttering and organizing. So I let him help me a little bit. As I'm pulling everything out, I'm just so surprised at how many pots and pans are in here and hopefully today we can make this more functional so she has all the pots and pans that she actually uses every single day in here instead of it just being cluttered up with a bunch of stuff that she doesn't use. So here are all the things that were in there have the pots, the pans, and bowls. So now we're going to figure out which of these is going to go back and which ones are gonna go to donations. Now it's time to make some decisions. Here my mom is going through every single item. We're deciding if it's going to be a keep or a donate or trash. And the side closest to me is going to be the nose. The middle is the maybe and the very top is the ones that she does want to keep. When you have all of your items laid out like this, it's very overwhelming because you really don't realize how much stuff you have until you pull everything out. So that's why taking everything out and putting it on a clear workspace is so important so you're able to see every single thing that you have. everything that we want to keep it's time to put things back so I'm starting off with the bigger items and items that she doesn't use as often so those are going to go down in the bottom and everything else that she does use on a regular basis goes at the top here my mom is handing me the pots and pans to put away and guiding me on where she wants them in here and how she wants them so we are trying to figure out how to best organize them to fit them all together so basically we just started stacking some on top of each other and in my opinion I feel like she still could have let go of a little bit more but this is what she decided to keep so we're going to just work with that and make it all 
all fit in here in a way that she can access it easily. So because it was so full in there, my mom sometimes keeps some pans out just sitting on the stove. So now that we've made some more room down here, now she doesn't have to leave these sitting up here so we can find a spot for them down below. So you guys know that in all my videos, it never fails that I find bugs. And here is one right there, but not too bad. Didn't see any spiders today, so that's good. Just need to clean these up before putting them away. My mom has decided to let go of all of these pots and pans. I grabbed this cardboard box that was in the backyard to put them all in and that way I can just easily transport these to my car to take to the donation center. This is a colander that clearly hasn't been used. It has the tag on still, but she wants to use it and if she doesn't use it, within the next six months or so, then it's gonna go donate. So we're gonna find a new home for that. Now that that's done, we're moving on over here on this side. So this looks like a drawer, but it's actually one of those fake ones. <laughs> it's not really a drawer. So these ones are all real. They are filled with stuff as well. This one, my mom is super anxious about me digging into because it's a lot and she's just afraid to look in there. So I don't know if we're gonna do that today, but I do definitely want to go through all of these drawers right now. Um, this one looks like it's pretty stuck. I don't know if I can even open that. So let's try to open this one. And here it looks like they have a bunch of condiments. This is the second drawer. Third, which I can't open. <laughs> Down here, we have more stuff. So I think I'm just gonna work on these. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in there, so let's get started. So I grabbed a bag that I'm going to use for trash. And as I see anything that's trash, I'll just throw in here. In this top drawer, there are a ton of condiment packets from fast food places. And I know for a fact that many of these have been sitting there for many years because I've opened these drawers for a long time and it seems like it just keeps getting full and full and not getting used. And so I became curious to see how long do condiment packets expire or last. So I researched it and I found that the best estimates are one year for mayo, relish, barbecue, tartar, horseradish sauce, maple syrup, salad dressings, and ketchup, and then one to two years for olive oil, parmesan cheese, taco sauce, mustard, and soy sauce. All of these are all mixed together. Some are newer, some are older. Probably many years worth of things sitting in here, except the in and out ones, so we're keeping those on the side. But everything else, since we don't know, it's better to be safe and just get rid of everything. And Put the good back. 
As you can see, condiment packets can add up very fast if you do a lot of takeout and just have a bunch of stuff left over and then you keep them because you want to use them up later but then eventually you never do or you forget you have them so they add up pretty fast so you definitely want to keep an eye out for your own condiment packets if you have any and just be aware of how long these have been sitting in your home and if it's time to be used up or thrown away. Now we have a bunch of butter knives. Have to ask my mom what she thinks. So I'm gonna put this to the side. In drawer number two, I found a ton of plastic utensils also from fast food restaurants, mainly El Pollo Loco because that's a family favorite. So they go there often and this drawer is just filled with tons and tons of these and other just miscellaneous things in there but mainly the utensils so i'm pulling all of those out and setting them all aside and putting them together in a bag this was everything in drawer two so we have a ton more of these plastic utensils and then other random gadgets. Now I'm going to just sort all the plastic utensils into one bag and then put the other gadgets and miscellaneous items on the side so I can have my mom go through everything one by one and also figure out if she wants to keep them or not. Brand new pineapple core. This third drawer had a combination of cooking utensils and then the plastic utensils that I keep finding in every single drawer in here. How many more of these do you think I can find in here? <laughs> There's so many. Now that everything is out, I'm going through everything one by one and once again just sorting all the utensils and then grabbing each individual item, every teeny tiny little thing that we found in there, showing it to my mom and she is telling me if she wants to keep them or not.
when I had pulled everything out and I was just laying there, my mom came over and she had this look on her face that she was so concerned and stressed about how much stuff was in there. And we haven't even gotten to the under the sink or the other cupboard that was next to the drawers yet. So even just these drawers that we went through today, it was a lot and for her to see it all just again can be very overwhelming but I assured her that with my help and going through everything one by one it was going to not be so bad to go through everything and at the end it really didn't take that much time it's a lot easier to get things done when there's two people helping so that's always very helpful So for me, it's still a lot of pots and pans in here, but she decided to keep all of these. And the way that we organize these is by how frequently she uses them. So this one on the top, she uses all of these a lot. And then in the back, we put the less frequently used items. And then in order for everything to fit, we kind of just stack them on top of each other. And then down here at the bottom, she has some glass plates and bowls that she'll use sometimes. This is also something that she just likes to use, but it's not something that she uses regularly. And then back there, there's another bowl that she likes to use for the holidays, for meals. And then this one right here, she also uses all the time during the holidays. If you guys remember when I was organizing my kitchen, I showed you guys that I organized my pots and pans with one of these and I didn't end up using both of these for my kitchen so I was holding on to them to see if they would work here at my parents house but we tried it, it just didn't work out and that's okay. Sometimes organizational items don't always work out so this is an example of that. Now what I'm going to do with these is just donate them as well. So they're going to go along with everything else. Here's drawer number one. So we kept all the straws and then all the other utensils that my mom wants to keep fit in this little tray, except for this one. So we just put it here on the side. And then here are the good condiments. These ones were just put in here the other day because they had in and out. So we're just gonna leave those there. Here is the second drawer. It has all the stuff that she actually uses in here so we're keeping those there are some duplicates here but she wanted to keep them all so we're keeping them all for now here's the third one this one's kind of just more miscellaneous things that couldn't fit up there they're all in here obviously we don't have any type of organizational items in here like dividers or trays but this is what works for now and maybe eventually in the future we can have those just to not have these 
all moving around in here. So this is what this looks like now. And this last drawer is all empty, which is super nice because that just goes to show that we got rid of a ton of stuff that wasn't necessary that they didn't use in here. And like you saw, all of it was basically trash. So that's all gonna go. And now we have things that actually get used. So thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this playlist if you miss them or just want to refresh your memory. I know it kind of takes me a while to come back in here and do these things but sometimes I like to just come over and hang out with my family. I don't just always want to be decluttering so I kind of just make time for it whenever I can. If you want to refresh your memory with the other videos in this series make sure you check out the playlist and I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to like, Subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you soon. Saying goodbye to all of these things today.